हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू विधि के एक्सप्लेन सीरीज द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे डिस्कशन इज विकास इंजन सो व्हाई दिस टॉपिक वाज इन न्यूज़ बिकॉज द इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज इसरो हैज कंडक्टेड अ सक्सेसफुल क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऑफ इट्स हाई थ्रस्ट विकास इंजन दैट इज हाई थ्रस्ट विकास इंजन एट इसरोस प्रोपल्शन कॉम्प्लेक्स इन तमिलनाडुज महेंद्रगिरी so this is where it has been successfully tested so why is it important why this though there are vikas engine but why do we need high thrust vikas engine so because now as one of in our one of sessions we have discussed about gaganyaan mission so this vikas engine will power the ambitious gagan mission gaganyaan mission into space so this is why because of the for gaganyaan mission we need high thrust engine for which this vikas engine has is being developed by isro so about vikas engine so what is vikas engine it is a family of liquid fueled rocket engine it is a liquid liquid fueled rocket engines it is used in the pslv and gslv series of expendable launch vehicles for space so this vikas engine is used both in pslv and gslv so for more detail on pslv and gslv you can watch with the guys explained session on gaganyaan mission gaganyaan mission so in gaganyaan mission session we i have discussed in detail about pslv and gslv engine so now we'll discuss since we are discussing about uh, vikas engine which will be used in gaganyaan mission so we'll discuss about gaganyaan mission also so the gagan gaganyaan program in which sages undertaking the demonstration of human space flight to low earth orbit that is gaganyaan mission is a human space flight human space flight but to which reason to low earth orbit leo in the short term and this will this will be this is a first trip and in long run it will lay the foundation of isro's future program that will take uh, that in which in isro will send its uh, like send human uh, flight human space to human missions to the uh, mars or maybe moon so this is the first step in the progress the formal announcement of the gaganyaan program was made by prime minister during his independence day address on 2080 Fifteen April, fifteen August, twenty eighteen. So when it was announced in twenty eighteen, this Gaganyaan mission, it will be launched in twenty thirty, twenty twenty three. How it was supposed to launch in twenty twenty two, but because of COVID nineteen, it got delayed. After this manned mission, India will become fourth country after Russia, US, China to send humans in space. So this is a factual information that you need to remember. Now more about Gaganyaan mission. The objective of Gaganyaan, the objective of Gaganyaan program is to undertake. to demonstrate indigenous capability to undertake human space flight to lower earth orbit this is the cost and there are three mission plan so missions there are three mission plan two unmanned one manned two one manned one manned mission so what is the use of this that is uncrewed mission or you can say unmanned mission are for technology demonstration safety and reliability so before sending the final mission two missions will be taken two missions will missions will be conducted to see the technology that is being used is correct or like there will be technological demonstration whether it is uh, looking into the safety of the flight looking into the safety of data and what all changes can be done so for that that purpose there will be two uncrewed or unmanned mission and then there will be one manned mission and this crewed mission four pilots of indian air force have been selected for the mission so four pilots of iaf indian air force have been selected for this mission the astronauts for gaganyaan mission are being trained in russia so this you have to remember where they are being trained in russia so isro's heavy lift launcher gslv mk3 has been used has been identified so which mission which rocket launcher will be used gslv mk3 so this is you have to remember is a three stage heavy lift launch vehicle so gslv mk3 gslv mk3 is a three stage three stage uh lift launch vehicle so this is important so now we have discussed about vikas engine about chandrayaan mission about sorry about gaganyaan mission and about the uh, about the rocket launcher that will be used in this so one more thing is humanoid robot so in the uncrewed mission that is that you you can say unmanned mission so a humanoid a robot was created which will go in this mission and it will act like as a human so its name is vyomitra vyom mitra will go into space before the manned mission it will try to simulate a human and report us back so this is the use of this robot so it will it will try to act as a simulation of human being and it will send back the report so these two mission that is unmanned mission are the for the technology demonstration for the safety purposes 
so that's all for this session now we will uh, we will discuss five important questions that can come from this topic so question number one vikas engine will power the ambitious mission into space so your options are mangalyan chandrayaan gaganyaan none of the above or you can say high thrust vikas engine high thrust vikas engine your options are these the correct option is gaganyaan mission question number two gslb launcher has how many stages your options are one stage two stage three stage none of the other correct option is three stage question number three how many missions are planned in gaganyaan mission so there are multiple missions so your options are one two three four the correct option is three that is two unmanned and one manned mission question number four which country is training india's astronaut for gaganyaan mission your option are usa russia uk japan the correct option is russia that is four indian air force pilots are being trained in russia question number five gaganyaan mission was announced in which year your option are 2018 2019 2021 none of the above the correct option is 2018 that is 15th august 2018 so that's all for this session Stay logical with the Dikya, your best pal in clad preps.